world without spending a single dime. Dream on is what you will tell me, but hold on just a moment. Meet this man who started off from France four years ago, travelled around the world and now on his way back, his stop is India, where he tells us the tricks of how not to spend any money on your adventures. Meet the master hitchhiker. Hello. My name is Ludovic. Hi. I'm from France. Hi. I have been touring the world for five years by hitchhiking. Would you like any help in order to hitchhike a little better? Oh yes, I've been trying to hitchhike and no luck. Could you please? All right, I think I can help a little bit. Namaste. Namaste. So, do you think you can introduce? Many of us love traveling and save for that dream trip. But 29-year-old Ludovic Hubler is traveling across the world without paying a dime for it. Call him the master hitchhiker. Hitchhiking to me is a fantastic way to meet the local population. It is a fantastic school of life also. It's a school of resistance, a school of patience, and it's a school of positive attitude, of resourcefulness, and capacity to adapt because when you hitchhike, you meet all kinds of people. Hubler began his journey from France on January 1, 2003. The rule was never to take a plane, train or any means of transport where he had to pay. So, from hitching rides on a sailing boat across the Atlantic to a camel across the desert, Ludovic has somehow made it this far. Ludovic spends around $10 a day and hardly any of it on places to stay. And as for food? But it's about the journey and not the destination. Some of his most cherished moments are his experiences with children. <laughs> Ludovic is now on his way back home, but he's a little worried. His visa for Pakistan is yet to be approved. Someday, he hopes to make a documentary and also write a book. Maybe The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Planet. In India, you just do like this, so we're gonna try and see with a car. This is Ludovic Hitler. And this is Omei Kulsum in Delhi for NDTV. And finally, on Urban Planet today, if there's one thing that's changed for the average internet surfer, it's that there's onto something more adventurous if you're an ardent traveler or have at least the desire to backpack or hitchhike across the world pay very close attention to the story hello my name is Ludovic hi I'm from France hi I have been touring the world for five years by hitchhiking would you like any help in order to hitchhike a little better oh yes I've been trying to hitchhike and no luck all right, I think I can help a little bit. You see, the first rule that you have to be careful of choosing the right car. Don't stop anyone. You have to choose the right car. So we have to wait what car could be the best one. How about a big vehicle? Some could be good. So we are in a good place. We are in a good place because people can stop. So you see, we are going to stop. Namaste. Namaste. So, do you think you can introduce? Uh, Many of us love traveling and save for that dream trip. But 29 year old Ludovic Hubler is traveling across the world without paying a dime for it. Call him the master hitchhiker. Hitchhiking to me is a fantastic way to meet the local population. It is a fantastic school of life also. It's a school of resistance, a school of patience, a school of positive attitude, of resourcefulness, and capacity to adapt because when you hitchhike, you meet all kinds of people. Hubler began his journey from France on January 1, 2003. The rule was never to take a plane, train, or any means of transport where he had to pay. So, from hitching rides on a sailing boat across the Atlantic to a camel across the desert. Ludovic has somehow made it this far. 
And we should make sure because I get to go with all kind of people. That uh, I had some stories sometimes, some people that keep living way up. But in four years and a half, I haven't been threatened. I haven't had my life in danger. Ludovic spends around ten dollars a day, and hardly any of it on places to stay. And as for food, but it's about the journey and not the destination. Some of his most cherished moments are his experiences with children. I had sometimes like 200 or 300 people in front of me asking me questions like, uh, for example, I remember in Islamic communities, it was a uh, explain me why in France is it forbidden to wear the head scarf at school. Or I heard, some people said I heard that in Europe there is a growing fear of Islam. Is it true? Can you explain why? And things like this. So it's very interesting to have this dialogue. Ludovic is now on his way back home, but he's a little worried. His visa for Pakistan is yet to be approved. Someday, he hopes to make a documentary and also write a book. Maybe the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Planet. Well, all my bags packed and I'm ready for the go. But before I just get down to hitchhiking, some quick tips from the master. But an important tip is to adapt to the culture. And the sign is, of course, part of the culture. In North America and Europe, you would go thumb up like this. But this is not the same across the world. In Latin America, it's more like this. But in the Middle East, in Iran, for example, this is an insert. It's the F word. You don't want to do that. So you have to adapt. Sometimes you have to do like this. Israel, or you have to do like this, like in Australia, or facing down like this. Sometimes you have to be stopped like this, like in Greece. But in Greece, you have to be careful because this is an insult, so you don't want to do too much this. But in India, you just do like this, so we're going to try and see with Panaka. This is really good. And this is Omei Kulsum in Delhi for NDTV. Uh, I haven't got anywhere with those hitchhiking uh, tips. I'm just in the studio. But nonetheless, I'm enjoying the trip out here. Anyway, giving directions to a stranger in the city may be easy, but try taking a foreigner on a sightseeing tour on the city and you'll probably realize that being a guide is not a walk in the park. But don't worry, if you're new on the job, you will learn on the job, especially if you're a tourist guide.